Hi everyone. Oh, I might just sit down. So let's talk about sponsors and um, you know what to do when you, if you're looking out for one. Um, what to look out for in terms of skills, qualities, the lot. Okay, most of the time, you know, network marketing, I was the same. I didn't really look into my sponsor in the first company. She literally joined, I think, I don't know, four days before me. So, and her, four of her plans did the same. So the first company, like I always say, didn't go very well. Hi Sons, I did message you, I will get back to you soon. I thought I'll do this live quickly before nipping out. So, uh, hi Yasmin, I'm good, thank you Sons, I hope you're well. Good to hear from you. So in terms of sponsor, right, this is a bit of a, you know, I don't know. Some people say, and you listen to, you know, like Sir Eric Worry, they say not to rely on your sponsor, which is true. You know, you can't rely on your sponsor for your success. But I definitely do say that you need to look out for a sponsor who is, you know, at least has the drive, okay? Has the skills that, that you need when you come into the business. And I, and I was speaking to a couple of people the last few days and they were saying, well, Naz, you know, why do I need to learn all this and why do I have to plug into this marketing system or the tools and, and, and grow the business? Because my 30 year old, 30 years mentor or upline who came into this business didn't do all that. Well, really most of the time, and this is me, you know, making, a generic overview is that most people came into network marketing, MLM, direct sales, who were already in a business. They just diverted their business into, uh, from a traditional to a MLM or network marketing. So they had the skills, you know, the, the skills will not go. So you need to find somebody who will teach you the basic skills of marketing, if you're doing it online, okay, and offline, but the basic, basic few skills are always going to be the same yeah they are always going to be the same which is going to be talking to people and having that posture that mindset that attraction about you just because i'm online and it doesn't matter how great my blog looks or my cover page looks and um, cover picture looks on my page or facebook uh hi noreen thanks for joining yes yasmin tell me a little bit more what, what do you mean about that but they are all doing it now. Um, if I don't feel if I don't feel confident in myself or my products or in my posture, I'm not gonna make it at all. So attraction marketing starts from within. It's a chemical, it's a vibe. You've got to really work on yourself to get that to a certain level to then grow your business. Um, so just because I can get distracted with the comments, so I'm gonna avoid the comments just for a minute and carry on. So. You need to look out for the basic skills, like I said. First, is self-development. Can they teach you to grow? Okay, look at themselves. Are they growing themselves? Are they consistent themselves? Are they posted on social media regularly? Are they giving content? Um, you know, can they teach you how to prospect? That's what's going to make you the money. Doesn't matter how many times I would post on social media or email my list, I have to reach out to people, find out their problems, and serve them the best way I can. Yeah. So find out where they are in their skills, their books and their courses has to be more than what you have got if you are already in the field or maybe uh, looking into where they need to be more educated than, you know, yourself. Because otherwise you're not going to grow and you need, you need to be around a community. It is a must. If you're not in a community right now, you need to go and find one or at least find a mentor that will give you that support. Doing it alone means it'll take you a lot longer. You will do it. It just means that you'll take a lot longer. You'll be finding your own way, um, but you will get there if you've got the drive. But having that sponsor you need to keep you guided because you, they've gone through what you're wanting to go through. I mean, I don't really look at the amount of money they've made, but I look at, can I learn from them when I join somebody? You know what can what can um how can i grow while i'm under their mentorship so find out their skills what books are they reading yeah uh what else have i got here so they need to teach you prospecting basic skills marketing okay and if they can't teach you they need to direct you to somewhere that that, that will teach you and you know check their books 
what they're reading more than you know what they're earning because I've worked with several people in the past who you know I've learned a lot from but they had the drive you know and they made once they're committed to the process and you see they're consistent you know they'll be making the money anytime so look at their consistency look at their you know what books they're reading and the knowledge they've got what can they bring to the table for you to grow more than anything else yeah because income there's several ways to of make you know making income which is suited to them but if they're not versatile to you if they're not meeting your needs and how you want to you know promote your business so if they're trying to fit you into a box that's not gonna work like that because you're not gonna grow you're not gonna flourish somewhere where you're just totally fit in a box i always go back to my six basic human needs you probably know i have it on my wall because i need to make sure that i meet that when i'm speaking to people if not then i'm not doing my job properly my business is just gonna fail uh, over time yeah people are gonna quit and if i'm not meeting their needs there's no retention in that and residual income is retention it doesn't matter how many people you sponsor a month if they're if they're leaving as fast as they're going they'll um you're not gonna make a residual income and that's what we all want is a residual income so a couple of things to look out for just to recap is that they need to show you how to generate leads offline or online i'm just gonna go well yeah whichever way you want um uh, direct you to the trainings that you need specifically to your you know your personality your strengths and they need to teach you how to prospect like how to have a conversation with people how to convert those leads to sales okay so i'm gonna leave you there and i'm gonna go shopping now and i'll catch you all later have a great evening i'm gonna just go back and check yeah yeah yasmin you're absolutely right they they would they yeah yeah <laughs> i'll actually message you about that in more detail you know this it's very hard to say that because a lot of the times the duplication is teaching somebody how to fish rather than you know giving them the fish handed to them and that's usually copy and paste this message or copy and paste this post and um yeah there you are you're done which doesn't work like i said if you're not if you're not adjusting yourself around your 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 person or the, your business partner's needs then they're not going to last long because nobody wants to fit in a box okay hope that's been uh an answer that you wanted or needed i'll catch you all later have a great evening or day bye